Hey everyone, welcome back to our series on mastering data center planning and design. Today we're diving into chapter two, planning and design. Um, let's get started. First off, initial planning. Identifying your business needs and goals is crucial. What are you aiming to achieve with your data center? Whether it's enhancing data security, expanding storage capacity, or improving service delivery, clear goals will guide every step of your planning process. Next, budgeting and resource allocation. A well thought out budget ensures you don't overspend and have the necessary resources to support your infrastructure. Moving on to design considerations. Site selection is key. You want a location that's geographically stable to avoid natural disasters. For instance, Iowa and Nebraska in the US are great due to their low incidence of earthquakes and other severe events. Climate also plays a role. Cooler climates, like in Northern Europe, reduce cooling costs significantly. Don't forget about proximity to energy sources. Areas like the Pacific Northwest and parts of Canada offer abundant hydroelectric power, reducing operational costs and supporting sustainability goals. Political stability and regulatory environment are also critical. Countries like Singapore and Switzerland offer stable political climates and business-friendly policies. Proximity to network infrastructure matters too. Urban hubs like Frankfurt, Amsterdam, London and New York provide excellent connectivity but come with higher costs and security risks. Finally, availability of a skilled workforce is a must. Tech hubs like Silicon Valley are ideal despite higher costs. Now, let's talk about data centers in hot climates, like in India. Site selection is even more crucial here. Opt for cooler or less humid regions when possible. Make sure the site has reliable access to power, water and telecommunications. For cooling, consider direct and indirect free cooling systems. High efficiency HVAC systems and hot and cold aisle containment are also effective. Innovative cooling technologies like liquid cooling and phase change materials can make a big difference. Robust insulation and reflective roofing materials help maintain a controlled internal environment. Energy efficiency is another critical area. Deploy energy efficient hardware and integrate renewable energy sources like solar panels. Scalability and flexibility should be built in from the start. Modular design and redundant systems ensure you can scale up and maintain reliability. Monitoring and maintenance are vital. Install advanced monitoring systems and schedule regular maintenance to keep everything running smoothly. Lastly, regulatory compliance and best practices. Make sure you adhere to local regulations and consider certifications like LEED or the Uptime Institute's tier certification. By incorporating these strategies, you can mitigate the challenges of hot climates and ensure your data center operates efficiently and sustainably. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights on data center planning and design. See you next time.